on some of this topic, and he was one of the students over there, uh, and he's doing, as you know, I think you probably know, a joint program with Kennedy School and Harvard Law School. It's a terrific program. Um, if I had been smart, I should have done that years ago. But uh, he's going to make up for all our sins, together with all of you. So we're really delighted. Thank you. I know it's together with all of you. Um, I love his shirts, too. These are great. I'm standing. So anyway, I bring you great news, all of you. Uh, only 282 days before George Bush is gone.
And that's what I want you to take away from, from this now. The 20 million people created a movement of activists. And those activists targeted 12 congressmen. The worst voting congressman in the United States Congress on the subject of the environment. Labeled them the dirty dozen. And in the next election, they went after the dirty dozen. And guess what happened? Seven of the 12 were beaten in the next election in 1972. Seven of 12. You know what happened as a result of that? All the survivors felt shivers go down their spines. And they looked around and said, whoa, this thing is for real. The people really want something. So guess what happened? The floodgates opened. And all of a sudden, we got the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, the Safe Drinking Water Act, the Marine Mammal Protection Act, the Coastal Zone Management Act, and Richard Nixon was compelled to sign the EPA into existence. We didn't even have an EPA until voters and organizers and mostly dumb people, just like yourself, said this has got to happen. That's exactly, I mean, that's a great lesson that also happened with women and the women's movement. It happened in the peace movement. Young people have always had an ability to call the system to accountability and to conscience. And that's what we're expecting you to do on this in the next few months and years.